Hey guys, what's up? It's Jeremy Cruz here. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about working for Great Big Story. If you don't know who Great Big Story is, they're a company that makes short stories, two to three minute videos, short documentaries on interesting stories around the globe. I've done a handful here in the Philippines and in Singapore and Indonesia. They're a super cool company because basically they just hire freelancers that live around the globe and then hire them to shoot a story for them. And if you're someone that's wanting to work with Great Big Story, I think in the US they have a team that shoots everything there already. It worked out for me because I moved to the Philippines. It makes more sense for them to hire me who's living here rather than flying out one of their shooters from the States. But if you are interested or you have an interesting story that you want to pitch to them, I believe you can just go to their website, greatbigstory.com and there's an area where you can pitch a story to them. For a great big story, it's really important to have a very interesting character. So even if it's something that's very extraordinary, the character has to be very interesting, has, have an interesting story as well. I've been a filmmaker since 2011, so about seven years and I only started working with Great Big Story about two years ago. I had portfolio to show when before I started shooting these types of documentaries. So my advice would be just to go out and film. Actually a lot, some of my portfolio, I even showed my YouTube videos from a few years ago. So, you know, just keep practicing, keep putting out videos and you know, some of them will be good, some of them won't be, but at least the good ones you can use for your portfolio. It's super fun shooting for them because yeah, they, they have a lot of trust in their freelancers. They just give a little brief of the project and a style guide and then they just have you go and shoot. So me and Henna, Henna usually helps me produce the shoots, like schedule them and create travel plans and budgets and stuff. Us as a freelancer, we have to contact the subject and schedule with them the shoot and then just go out and film it. So everything is basically on us. It's been super fun so far. Our most recent one that we shot was for Wang Ad. She's a 101 year old tattoo artist. Going to their village is super fun. There's no internet service and time just feels like it moves slower while you're there. It's, it's like a place to recharge. That's what it felt like. We also shot a project for CNN last year about Wang Ad. And so going back again was really fun because we knew some people there already. And um, Anna's been with me on most of the shoots that we've done for Great Big Story. She's helped me schedule them and it's super fun getting to travel together. What was your favorite one so far? Tami Lok. Oh man, that one was, that one was a lot of fun. Tami Lok are these uh, worm looking mollusks and yeah, that was a lot of fun to shoot. Apo Wang Ad. Yeah, Apo Wang Ad is really fun. I think that one was one of my favorites. Super fun and our guides Jonah and Noreen were super fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Black chicken in Indonesia. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, it's really fun shooting these projects too because you get to know people, you develop friendships with the people that you're shooting. So, their culture. Yeah, you get to know their culture and stuff. Yeah, let me know if you guys want any advice or if you have any questions. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments. This guy's been barking. He's been barking. He's been barking. Anyways, that's all I'm going to talk about today. If you like this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and then subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Alright, see you tomorrow. Boom, boom, boom.